Yeah, very nice, yeah. Um, I think he was, not only for the three goals, but in, in general, he, he top performed today. Um, you need a game like this that uh, your top players top performed, and he did that. Um, um, obviously, the, the first one, I will, um, will work the set piece um, where he were in the position he had to be, and, and then two penalties where the, first, the second one he gets himself, or there's a penalty on him. Uh, but, but I have said it many times before, and I, I think um, uh, the more penalty he scores, uh, the closer we are to, to the truth that I think he is the best penalty taker in the world. It is, you know, the coolness and the strategy in the world. In the world. So name, name one player that the last, I don't know how many, the 7, 18, 19, <coughs> not someone, I don't know the stats, have, you know, you know, scored 19 in a row, how much is it? I don't know how it is. Name one player. That's how you say that. Yeah, it's not Messi, it's not Ronaldo. Huh? You have to go back to Matt with this year. Yeah. yeah. So, in the world now. Mm -hmm. You got Bruno? You got Bruno? I think he missed it. Thomas is. But, but uh, you just show me the stats. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, so just look like the number of that's uh, a poor game, obviously, but to see his happiness today in front of something is... Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that must be pleasing to see up in the moving on. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, that's long gone. Uh, I think... Um, uh, I think he scored against Everton, then he scored against Wolves, and then he scored against Man United, I think. So three games in a row, and did well in all three games. Um, and then he got injured. And then he came back against Newcastle, and now he's starting again to score. So I think he is in a really good place. So Christian Eriksen ended up playing 99 minutes today. Yeah. Is that always the plan? Uh, not 99. Have <laughs> 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 uh, I think he was good, uh, but I think he'd be even better than, than, than this. And also, if you ask him, I think I'm pretty sure that he will say he could be even better. It's has to, fantastic to see him. Very important for us. Of course, he is. I think the delivery for the first uh, goal. Uh, Fantastic! You saw some of his um, passes in behind, you know, left first time or right first time, or you know, waiting. Or he had fantastic ball for Sergio Canas uh, first half, unbelievable. Uh, so that is the bit he can he can give us. Uh, one more. But it wasn't just his passing; it was more also. I think in the first half, he had a little scuffle as well on the floor with the player, and yeah. it just shows that he's ready not just to do all the fancy yeah. stuff, but also yeah. to get. Yeah. Um, no, no, it means something for us. We, we want to do well for us. We want to make sure we end up high for us. Thomas, you, you've had obviously many, many great wins at Brentford, you know, but keeping everything around this, you know, obviously it's so important for the Premier League survival. Yeah. You know, Bayern were getting a hat trick, and obviously Christian scored there. You, is this one of your most special wins, do you think, as a Brentford manager? Yeah, I think that's a fair, fair assessment. I, I think I would compare it to, because I think that's the closest uh, to the Bolton win. I had 1 0 after we only won one in, in, uh, in 10 games, then you really badly won in the next one. Ne next one. It was similar today. Um, so yeah, of course, obviously, extremely happy and, and it's, you know, I would say it's not happiness, that it's relief. When you win a game, it's relief. That's why it's so tough. It's just relief. It's not even extraordinary happiness. <laughs> uh, Thomas, uh, the Watford beat out today, obviously you changed the formation today. Uh, I changed it last time as well. Yeah, last time as well, yeah. Um, but that was only for 10 minutes. <laughs> Uh, I think today you had like eight shots on target, which is the most you've had in a while since mm -hmm. I think it was since the United game. So how effective would you say that setup was today, especially for Henderson as well? Mm -hmm. I think it was okay. I, as I said, I think it was a solid performance. I think actually on the ball, I think we need to do better. I think we, we, I think Norwich pressed well, so it's not easy just to play out that. But I think we do that a tiny bit better. I also think we can keep the ball on their half better. I think we, we you know we need more composure in those moments. Um, so but in general I'm pleased that we, we created more uh, today definitely. Um, and maybe it's because of the fourth victory, maybe it's because of other things. Uh, we still probably let's see the next game some coach. Uh, we still got Arsenal about trying to get that one win to get that confidence boost. Um, just how important was that win today for your side just to get that, that confidence and motivation? Hundred percent. I think very, very important. Um, um, and and as a everyone involved in football, you 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 love to win football matches. And when you don't do that for a while, it, it, it hurts, of course. So so to get that, 
that win um, that just and that's what I tried to say I think was a fine performance not through the roof but but suddenly because of the narrative that we score some goals is suddenly much better of course it is but but we need to be consistent in the, in the form score board and of course the win is, 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 is big uh, lastly, um, we saw. I think I saw Nansen quite upset, uh, quite angry after that. Obviously, the confrontation in Norwich Hall. Is that the clean sheet? I think that you're concerned about, or is it just kind of? Ah, uh, no. Of course, he's very. Of course, he wants the clean sheet. David wants the clean sheet. So let's say we hadn't won. There, there we, we won't be. Let's say it was two, two games ago that we had our last win or something like that. I, they would be fuming now. But now because the the. the the relief or the happiness over the win, the first in a long time, then can we take that? But as, as I said to both of them, we'll, we'll discuss it Monday. Um, two of them are very, very angry. My assistant manager, Brian Weaver, is, you know, we'll be also be fuming uh, on Monday. But today we are we're pleased. Thank you very much, Thomas. Thank you. Oh, well, you can go. Oh, so just one. Um, just for Ericsson, do you think now he's in a position where he can start every game to win the season? Or are you still going to have to. No, I think, no, no, I think he'll, he's fine to, to do that. Uh, and hopefully it's now, you know, just uh, hopefully uh, after each game going forward, especially I think the next three and four, I think we'll add more and more to this game in terms of the quality. Of course, you can't then expect him to play, you know, 10 out of 10 every game. No, no one does that in the world. But uh, there will be a bigger possibility uh, for that after this game. Thanks, Mr. Spanks. Coming to Trent, this last one, Jay. Yeah, um, just want to say congratulations, Thomas. I'm sure you'll have a, a glass of two of red wine tonight. Um, can I quickly check on Christian Norgard and Christopher Adam? Did they go off with a little bit of discomfort? Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, thank you. I will, definitely. <laughs> uh, uh, Christian Norgard had a little bit in his thigh or hands, I can't remember. But of course, when we were so previous that the scoreline was 3 0, then we didn't want to risk one of our most important players. Um, Christopher, I'm a little bit down on what was wrong. I need to see that. Um, and then Arno Kalabasi, I just wanted to go into a little bit more about you know playing with three up front and especially putting Sergi on the left, how that kind of changes the team dynamic where Ivan can kind of be that central striker and work off Brian and, and Sergi on the wings. I think it works okay. I think it worked okay. Um, uh, uh, but it's still something, of course, we need to work even more on to be even better at it. But I think it worked okay today, definitely. And then um, what actually goes through your mind when, when Brentford win a penalty and you see Ivan over the spot, even when you you know you got to call whipping up the crowd, do you just think hundred percent it's going in? I do that, but you know the mind's always sorry my life is always fucked with you. Okay, uh, so you think okay there will be one day if I do miss, but uh, because he's so cool and the strategy is good, that I'm quite committed to score. Brilliant, thank you very much, Thomas. Enjoy your series. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.